Okay, so question number seven. How many orbitals in an atom can have each of the following designations? A, 5F, B, 4P, C, 5D, D, N equals two. Okay, so to answer this question, uh, I'm going to find all the different um, all the different quantum numbers for each of these different orbitals. So starting with 5f, its n quantum number is just equal to 5. And to find our L quantum number, this is um, from the block letter. So I'm going to write uh, all the different L values up here. So when you have uh, an electron in the S block, its L value is zero. For the P block, it's one. The D block, it's two. And for the F block, it's three. Okay, so keeping that table in mind, when we have an electron in the 5F orbital, that means its L value is equal to three. So because our L value is equal to three, that means our L value can range from negative three to positive three. So I'm just going to write all the different ML values from negative three to positive three. Okay, so since, um, we have all these different orbitals, if we count it all out, then therefore there is seven. So seven orbitals in an atom that has a 5F designation. Okay, so let's do the same thing for B. For the 4p orbital, n is equal to 4, l is equal to 1, so that means our ml value ranges from negative 1 to positive 1, so that means there's only 3 orbitals. C, we have 5D. So N is equal to 5, L is equal to 2, and our ML value ranges from negative 2 to positive 2. So that is 5 orbitals. And then now let's look at D. When N equals two, uh, that means that our L value has to be less than two. So they didn't specify what it is. So I'm just going to say L uh, can either be equal to zero or one. So that means our m value, our ml value, is either equal to zero or it's equal to ml negative one, zero to positive one. So in total, there are four options, oh, orbitals. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. 
Uh, the principal quantum number n describes the energy level in which the electron can be found. The angular momentum quantum number l describes the subshell or orbital type in which the electron is located. If the shell of the subshell is not identified, the accepted value of l is based on n. It can have values ranging from 0 to n minus 1. For the S subshell, L equals 0. For the P subshell, L equals 1. For the D, L equals 2. And for the F, L equals uh, 3. Now I'll fix that typo in a bit. So the magnetic quantum number ML describes the orientation uh, of the orbital. It can be determined from the value of L. The accepted values of ML ranges from negative L to positive L. A. For 5F, L is equal to 3, hence ML equals negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, or 3. So a total of 7 orbitals in an atom can, give, can have the given designation. Or for P, L is equal to 1. Hence, ML is equal to negative 1, 0, or positive 1. Therefore, three orbitals in an atom can have the given designation. For 5D, L is equal to 2. Hence, ML is equal to negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, or positive 2. Total of 5. And then for N equals 2, L can either be equal to 0 or 1. So for L... For L equals 0, ML is equal to 0, so total of 1, L equals 1, ML is equal to negative 1, 0, or positive 1, total of 3. Therefore, four orbitals in an atom can have the given designation. Yep, so the solution is correct. And then I'll just put in brackets for the F subshell, L is equal to 3. Thank <laughs> you.